Last week, I announced that I was going to go all in on Apple's productivity tools for three months to find out how good they really are. And so this week, I thought I would just cover a few of my favorite features in Apple Notes. So let's get started. First up is the ability to share things from email directly into Apple Notes. Now you can also do this with reminders too. However, what I find is like most people, I get a lot of newsletters each week. Now I curate these very carefully. I unsubscribe from things I'm not no longer interested in, but there are one or two newsletters that I keep around because they are very good. Things from Kurosh Dini, also from James Clear, the 123 newsletter, and also Dan Martell and a few others. The Natural Edge, Simon Jeffrey's wonderful newsletter is another one. Now what I've done in Apple Notes is I have a folder called Newsletters. Now not all of the newsletter might have anything that I'm particularly interested in, but there are little snippets of information that I think, oh, that will be useful, I want to keep that. So what I will do is I will highlight the paragraph and then use the share sheet to send it to Apple Notes. Now I can select the note. Now because I don't have hundreds of these newsletters that I follow, I only have four or five at the most. So what I'm doing is I just have a single note where I save these individual little snippets of information or interesting things so that I basically am creating a learning note for future self. I can go into this and I can just read through say Dan Martell's or Simon Jeffries or Kurosh Dini and I can go through them and I can just use these little snippets to help me to learn or to remind me of a key part. Now the other thing about this is I can actually tag individual snippets. So if something's about mindset or productivity or time management, I can use those tags. So then I can search in Apple Notes if I'm particularly struggling with my mindset, for example, I could type in search mindset and all my notes with the tag mindset will come up and I could just spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes sitting on the sofa reading through the things I've collected a great way to get motivated, but also a great way, rather than saving lots of individual newsletters, I'm only pulling out the important parts and keeping them in a single note. Now, of course, you don't have to do this, but I find this particularly useful. Next up is the ability to pin notes. Now, if you followed me for any length of time, you will know that I like to have managed my projects within my notes app. Now, traditionally I use Evernote and for those people thinking, are you quitting Evernote? No, 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 I'm not quitting Evernote. This is just an experiment for three months. I will be back to Evernote in January. There's way too much stuff in there and it also acts as my CRM. But let's get back to Apple Notes. Now with Apple Notes, you can pin notes. You can pin them to the top of the whole notes application and you can pin notes to the top of individual folders. So if I've got a project that I'm working on, each project has its own individual project note and this keeps the key information. So it links to any shared documents that I'm working on. So it could be a keynote file, it could be a pages file or a numbers file. I can save that link to that note because I use iCloud as the back end to be able to quickly access those pieces of information. Also, I will have any additional information related to that project. There could be next actions if I'm working on the project. And of course, there's going to be my original project planning note, which is always done on paper. I scan that in, which is another thing that Apple Notes is superb at. The scanning feature in Apple Notes is out of this world. It'll just import it just by clicking on the button scan document and it will put it directly into the note. Now my project notes always start with a written, handwritten planning note and then I will pull out all the relevant parts and make them digital because ultimately most of my project's output is going to be digital. So that's another way that I really like with Apple Notes. The ability to pin key information at the top. Now when I was writing Your Time Your Way, 
I also managed to have a regular meeting with the publisher. That meeting note was also pinned to the top of the project note because that way I could quickly access that if my previous call overran, is just go straight into the project folder and bang, there is the meeting note. So the ability to pin notes is a superb way of being able to quickly access the relevant information. Now another feature that's linked to project notes or perhaps meeting notes is the ability to be able to drag an email and drop it into your notes. Now the great thing about this is that I can do this wonderfully easily on the desktop. Now I use Apple Mail. If you're using Outlook or Gmail this is not likely to be possible although in the past I have managed to get Outlook to do it just doesn't seem to do it very well. But what I'm working with here is only Apple's tools. So I can drag an email from my desktop email application and move it directly into a project note, particularly if that email is relevant to that project. The alternative to doing that is to highlight a paragraph in the email and then share it to your notes and that should put the link to the original email. If it doesn't, and I've not had 100% success with this, certainly by just dragging the whole email into your note, that means that you've got a link that takes you straight back to the original email whenever you need it. This is super, super useful. So you're not having to search through all your email files looking for it. Once you move the email, you can archive it. You'll always be able to find it just by clicking on the link in the note. And that is just a superb way of doing it. I've never been able to do this very well in Evernote. And this is one of the standout features with Apple Mail. Now, theoretically, you can also do this on your iPad, drag and drop. On your iPhone, again, theoretically it is possible, but you've got to be really good with your fingers, and I'm not. But I generally do all my email from my desktop, so it's fine. I can do it from there, and I love this. It's just superb. And finally, one of the standout features of Apple Notes is Quick Notes. Now, Quick Notes work superbly on the iPad. You just drag up from the bottom right and it will open up a Quick Note, no matter where you are, what application you're in. Similarly, this can be done on the desktop. Now, on the iPhone, it's not so easy. If you want, you can use shortcuts. Now, that's something I am currently experimenting with and I will do an update video in future weeks explaining my favorite shortcuts and how to set them up. But for now, without using shortcuts, particularly on the iPad and on your laptop, it's super easy to take a quick note. Now, if you look in the top left of the quick note, you can link to whatever it is you're looking at. So if you're, even if you're in the calendar app, you can actually link the calendar date to that note, that quick note that you're making. But generally I'm only using this for when I'm on websites and I'm going, oh, this is really interesting. I can highlight whatever it is that I want to save, drag that into a new quick note and then add the link back to the original website. And again, I'm only using Safari here and it just works superbly with that. And I just love all these little, little, little tiny features within Apple Notes. After all, it's a notes app. It's just for gathering information that you may or may not want in the future. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about why I'm doing this experiment, then this video up here will help you. And if you want to go all in on Apple's productivity tools, then I have just updated my Apple productivity course and all the details for that can be found in the show notes below.